Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Stacy Shillington. Welcome to my Facebook Live today. Today I am talking about the ketogenic diet and acne. Um, the ketogenic diet has become a very trendy diet lately and um, it's actually not a new diet. It's been around since the 1920s and traditionally it's been used to treat neurological conditions such as epilepsy, Parkinson's disease, autism, but more recently it's really been used to help people with metabolic syndrome, PCOS, and obesity. And the ketogenic diet is amazing in so many ways and I'm gonna talk about them. But the main question that I wanna answer for you today is, is the ketogenic diet good if you have acne? The bottom line is it depends as everything, but I'm gonna get into that a little bit more. So some of you may not be familiar with the ketogenic diet. You may wonder what exactly it is and what it is, it's when the body, ch you eat in such a way that you change the body's fuel source from glucose, which is sugar, to fat, and that's ketones. So when you enter a state of ketosis, and that's when the body is no longer burning glucose, instead it's shifting to burn fat, fat is burned very efficiently in the body. Now what this diet does is when you're burning the fat very efficiently, it's really balancing insulin levels, it's balancing blood sugar levels, and it's normalizing hormone levels. So there is such a really amazing benefit to eating a ketogenic diet if you have obesity, metabolic syndrome, PCOS, any type of insulin resistance. Um, it's really, really helpful. And those are some of the main um, things that can contribute to acne. So in many instances, the ketogenic diet can be really, really helpful. Now, what does the ketogenic diet actually look like? Um, so the traditional ketogenic diet is eating 70 to 80% healthy fats in your diet. That's a lot of fat. As healthy, healthy fats are looking at coconut oil, um, polyunsaturated fatty acids, which are more like vegetable oils, um, including omega-3 fatty acids, which is like fish, oily fish, um, seeds such as hemp seeds. It also includes um, butter, ghee, avocado, so 70 to 80% healthy fats. And then the traditional keto diet also includes about 5% non-starchy vegetables, which is like cruciferous vegetables, broccoli, cauliflowers, leafy greens, carrots, radishes, basically any vegetable that is not a starchy vegetable. And then 15 to 20% protein. And the protein is to come from healthy sources such as grass-fed beef, organic chicken, um, sustainable fish, um, what else? That's, you know, just really the healthy protein. So that is what the ketogenic diet looks like. It's very different from a standard diet. Um, a lot of research has been done on it and those very effective short term research is still out as to whether or not this is a long term solution for health benefits. So that is what the ketogenic diet is. That's what it consists of. And the big question is, should you adopt a ketogenic diet if you have acne? And the answer is sometimes. So if your acne is caused solely by PCOS or insulin dysregulation, the ketogenic diet is very helpful. And a lot of people see immediate and really sustainable results with the ketogenic diet and you know their acne will clear up beautifully but for others when they start the ketogenic diet their skin becomes worse like a lot worse and so you may be asking why is this so I'm going to answer your question so there are three reasons that your skin can get worse on a ketogenic diet number one if you have any type of dysbiosis. So if your microbiome is not balanced, if you have yeast, candida, um, any type of gut disbalance, 
chances are the ketogenic diet may not be beneficial. Research has shown that a diet that's low in fiber tends to disrupt the microbiome. It's not good. You need fiber to really balance and to really nourish the microbiome of the gut. So if you have dysbiosis, I would not go to a full ketogenic diet. And I'll say what I recommend in a minute. Okay, the second instance where you may see your skin flaring up with a ketogenic diet is if your liver is not working efficiently. Now, as an acne sufferer, chances are that your liver is not working optimally. There's been studies done and there's genetic predispositions in the livers of acne patients to not process toxins as efficiently as they can. So if this is the case, if this is your genetic susceptibility, if you're eating a lot of fat, your liver is going to be overworked. Your liver processes the fats and especially when the liver processes the PUFAs, the polyunsaturated fatty acids, it may become overwhelmed. And this is why many acne patients cannot tolerate fish oils. It's because it's too high in PUFAs and the liver's having difficulty breaking it down. So the liver does all the work in processing fats and the liver also produces the ketones. So when your liver is not you know, functioning optimally, you're going to have trouble with the ketogenic diet and the result could be a skin flare up. So that's the second reason that your skin may flare up on a ketogenic diet. And the third reason is that if you have a tendency to constipation, the ketogenic diet is likely not gonna be super helpful because it is so low in fiber. And as you may or may not know, fiber is kind of what keeps the machinery working. So um, if you have dysbiosis, if your liver is overwhelmed, or if you have a tendency to constipation, the ketogenic diet may actually not be helpful at all if you have acne. However, if you just have PCOS and or insulin dysregulation, the ketogenic diet will be massively helpful for your acne. So the big answer is it depends when it comes to the ketogenic diet. So what is the answer for acne? Now I treat acne patients, I've been treating many acne patients for many years and in my seven week clear skin program I've put together a diet that works for acne patients, you know, broadly. And basically what it comes down to is a low starchy carbohydrate diet. We need to balance insulin levels, we need to balance blood sugar levels, that's absolutely essential if you're going to treat acne and the ketogenic diet does a massively great job of that. But a lot of carbohydrates still need to be included in the diet, not starchy carbohydrates, but non-starchy carbohydrates, which means vegetables. So the diet that I've put forth for my acne patients is one where there's lots of non-starchy carbohydrates, but then also a lot of fat and a lot of protein. So you're likely not going to get into a ketogenic, into ketosis with the diet that I've put forth for my acne patients. But because acne rarely presents with one root cause, usually there's insulin dysregulation, but there's also you know, some gut work that needs to be done. There's often liver support that needs to be administered and there's, you know, often constipation. We need to put together a diet that covers all these bases and that heals everything. And personally, with my patient population, I don't find that the ketogenic diet is always helpful. So, I hope that that answers the question, the question about ketogenic diet because it's a question that people have been asking me for a long time, so this is the very best answer that I can give you. As in many things in life, there are no absolutes. There's no yes, it's great, or no, it's horrible. It's kind of in the middle, and it depends on your individual constitution. So that is my experience and also some of the research that's out there. So if you have acne, if you want to clear your skin, I totally, I really recommend 
my seven week clear skin program, I give you a step by step program on how to get clear skin and it works. You don't have to live with acne anymore. And that's the truth. Acne can be solved. So check out my website at naturopathicbeauty.com. There's a link where you can read all about my program there. Also, follow me on Instagram and follow me on Facebook because I give great skincare tips every single day. And uh, I would love to hear from you and connect with you, especially in my group. And guys, once you join my group, I just want to tell you that I put a ton of love and dedication to, into every single member. I'm really, you know, dedicated to helping you clear up your skin and to helping you on your clear skin journey. So that's all for today. Hopefully that has helped and answered some of your questions. If not, leave questions in the comments below and have a wonderful day.